easy yeah. access news something? I uh, see access. Because it's easy to access, right? Okay. 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 So we have a beautiful screen here, right? The picture here, if you like, you can change, right? Can you change this for individual people or you can change it for the whole company? company. Yeah. You can't have to change it for individual people, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Then uh, these are the top menu items. This is same. Yeah. Then I, sorry, oh, sorry, I wanted to show you something. So I got so, so some small changes, right? Right? Yeah. The top menu changes a little, right? But certain things are common. Okay, then uh, then we have the title for that uh, area and this we have some item. This is this is common. See, you saw this, right? Now I go to another one. It's the same, right? So this is common for any menu, right? But this is changing. This is changing. Yeah. If I go to the original one, it's, it's different, right? Like if I go to another one here, start workflow, this will be the same, but this will change. Eh? Uh, you, talk, you, you said um, you spoke about the, uh, the languages. So, SAP, say there's a company in uh, the same company in China, right? And yeah, yeah. One in Russia. Yeah. When they log into the server, it could have languages will be different, right? And would those intercommunicate? Or the language. Ah, uh, no, no. Langu language means like this. Say I have an office. Yeah. I have people speaking French working and people speaking English working. So I have in, when I install server, I install two languages. So when a user is logging in, he can select by default there will be one language, okay. or if you want to select another language, he can select another language. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then everything here will be in that language. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So but uh, whatever is done in the system, it, it has nothing to do with this. <laughs> So we went back to the front screen. Oh no, sorry. So I, I have two options here, SAP menu, I click on SAP menu, I got it. I have user menu also, but in my case uh, I am powerful user, so I don't have separate menu here. Right, and uh, so now uh, if I type here, I can also go through this to go and execute certain functionalities, right? Those things I can just uh, click on this, but as a basis administrator you would prefer typing something rather than going through this if I want to do something I can go to tools I can go to if I'm a program I go to a bad workbench if I if I am an uh, SAP basis admin or security admin I can go to administration right if I want to if I had a security administrator I can do here if I am a basis admin for example so I can check all these things um, how many locks are there all these things I can check right but uh, rather than doing all this I can type T codes transaction codes so I type here SM04 to see the people who are logged in into the system in this system currently I want to see the people who have logged in in this system in the instance I have logged in currently only I, I have logged in because nobody logs in with this right so I am the only person who has logged in, right? I logged in as Don. Okay. And uh, I have logged in through a terminal that is this my computer. Yeah. This is my computer. If I go to computer, properties, where is my computer name? Here yeah, my computer name. Yeah. So I have logged in through YNB2. This is my computer right and I use GUI to log in. Uh, we can check that no. but not through this okay. right and I am typing another command called SM50 this is another T code. SM50 will show me how many work process I have. I told you I can allocate some work process for one instance for another instance I can allocate more or less so I want to see how many work process I have in my instance I logged in through instance 
zero three. So in that instance, I want to see how many work process I have. SM fifty. So I have altogether how many work process altogether? Ten. Ten. Yeah. So all of them are waiting. Waiting means. No, no, waiting to serve you. Yeah. Waiting to serve you. Only one is running. So can 100 people log in now? No, just to be clear, you have a, that, that, for right now you have a 10. Please. That means only 10 people can log in? Yeah. No, it doesn't wa work no, no. that way. Yeah, no, you can, any number of people can log in. Two, ans two, two you answer two things are not correct. Because when a person logs in, not all these work process will help them. Only this guy, this guy will help. Dialogue guy. This is for some other purpose. These are for some other purpose. BGD is for what? Uh, Back is it background? Background. To do background jobs. Spool is for? Printer spool? Printer spooling. Update is for? Updating. Updating records. Okay. This is for locking. Don't worry about that. So only this one is used for dialogue activities. That means a user logs in, user asks for questions, user asks uh, the information about another material, a material. All those things are handled by dialogue. So this is the person who is serving the users directly. Right? So how many of them are there? Uh, five. Only five. That means only five people can be logged can be logged in at a time. Yeah. Only one, but the four are waiting. Yeah, but how many people can log in now yeah, into the system? Five. Only five. So you in your computer, how many CPUs you have? So how many people can log in at a time, even remotely? All together? No. no, no, no. no server. server, you have a server. You have only one CPU. How many people can log in and do work? One. Any number of people. No, I didn't ask about that. I asked about what is the capacity with one CPU. Is there only one person who can log in into a server at a time? No, why do you no, say that? No, multiple. Yeah. No, no, I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about unlimited amount. How many people can log in? 100, 200, 300 can log in, right? No problem, right? Depending on your operating system license, we say, right? Okay. Uh, so, then that means here you are saying for one dialogue work process, only one person. You know what I mean, right? So there is something called time slicing, right? CPU time is sliced for various activities, right? For multitasking, multiprocessing, that capability dialogue work process also has. Okay, you logged in into the system. Now I logged into the system. How long I am just waiting? How long? For about five minutes I am just waiting. A dialogue work process will be waiting for me. Oh, what do you want to do next? For the last five minutes? No. It will just go and try to serve another person. It will try to serve another person who is logging in. So one dialogue work process can serve several people. Not thousands, right? Several people, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Depending on the situation also, right? Okay. So several people you can serve. Login is different. I'm not doing anything, right? Um, but if I'm trying to do anything, something with the dialogue work process for the last 30 minutes, it, it, it didn't complete. The job didn't complete. For example, I'm giving. I can set a time. So after 30 minutes, the dialogue work process will leave me. I don't want you. Your job is not done. Roll back. Right? So you are not supposed to give a job which is going to take 30 minutes to a dialogue work process. You have to give that to a you have to give that to a background work process. So when you are defining, you have to define that as a background work process. Right? So 
that is why we have background dialogue if i feel a job is going to take a lot of time especially during the day time i should not do it in the foreground i have to do it in the background like in unix and all you say bg background fg foreground right same way yeah when i'm defining a job i can tell okay system will ask you you want it immediately or you want it in the background or you know you want it in the background immediately so i can select all of them if i say background immediately okay now it starts but it won't use the dialog work process much it uses the background mainly to do the processing right so that is why we have different we have a division of labor here in the process right <laughs> in windows or in unix if i say ps